These grounds, these buildings, they're all so dark. Everything's dark, even the sky. This building, we went in. Top floor, right there. Top right. Now back in there, I made a left. There's a cubby room back there. That is where I felt a little kid grab me by my hands. It was sort of like two fingers wrapping in between these two. I'm standing like this. And it just felt like a little kid came up and grabbed my hand and tried to... Almost like they were pulling to lead me somewhere, show me something. Hmm. I pulled away and I looked and I thought it was somebody that was with me. And nobody was nearby. In this place, a mental hospital they call it. <laughs> That's a fancy name that is, but I know a better. The bug house. A place where they lock you up and then throw away the key. And now they've got me too. take me in there. I'll never get out. Oh God, what will happen to me now? Did either of you just hear that? Yeah. Sounded like a moan. When one hears the word asylum, especially when paired with haunted or abandoned, dreadful images come to mind of decaying buildings, sinister hallways, and forgotten lives. Forest Haven in Laurel, Maryland has all of these and much more. Walking these grounds, I felt a similar sadness the kind I felt at Pinhurst, but perhaps something more, something darker. The facility opened in 1925 as the District Training School for the Mentally Retarded. It was a farm-like institution designed to provide patients with useful skills. In 1928, the first of many on-ground burials began. In 1963, the property was named Forest Haven, but during that decade, the property would begin its decline. Funding was cut. The population of residents grew to include people with epilepsy. But the worst happened in 1974 when a nearby orphanage called Junior Village closed and its 20 souls were moved into Forest Haven. These are the sounds of hungry children. In this case, their hunger is being satisfied in the dining hall at Junior Village. But these too are the sounds of children at Junior Village. Hungry children, hungry for love and affection. This hunger cannot be satisfied at Junior Village. So let's think about that for a moment. People with epilepsy, a brain disorder where nerve cell activity is disturbed causing seizures and orphans placed in an overcrowded ill-equipped and dysfunctional facility aspiration pneumonia in patients was common it was caused by patients being fed while they were laying down physical mental and sexual abuse were rampant. Patients were hit with belts, switches, and baseball bats. Teeth were knocked out. Even in death, patients could find no peace. 389 were buried in a mass grave on the property. Erosion eventually uncovered some of their remains. With all of these accounts, it's no surprise 
that Forest Haven is rumored to be extremely haunted and is frequently explored by urbexers. Mike from Charm City Paranormal has explored Forest Haven so many times, he refers to it as his second home. I really hope that something happens today that you guys can just see what I'm talking about and what this place is about because it is, it's intense. It really, like right now, the feeling is like, it's just coming at me in waves. <clears throat> I've only felt this way here. It only, it's only this place. So we're, I guess we'll go through and we'll see if we get anything. Um, as far as intentions go, whoever is here and whatever is here, you you know me by now. I, this is my second home. I come here often. I communicate with you often. You still scare me often. So if you're here, I would like you to know that our intentions here are good, that they're pure, that we don't come to cause any more harm or destruction to your home, that we simply want a sign from you that you are here and that we would like to communicate. So if you'd be willing to do that for us, we would greatly appreciate it. On Halloween 2020, Mike led the Unexplained Cases team through some of the decaying buildings of Forest Haven. Mike. to the detention center because that's known to have a lot of activity. I've been getting over too. And specifically right here in this area. Right like here. Am I, I'm gonna hold my phone all the way back here. I don't think it would make it go off. But I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I was getting spikes in here. This area. Nope, there it is right there. Mm. Well, and by comparison, so two devices, same reaction. Yeah. And also just went away. Yep. So. Unless we found somebody hiding in the closet here. Yeah, they're made of electromagnetic frequencies. Mm hmm. <laughs> Come on out, bud. You know? 
Just, I, I was getting readings in this area. Well, and as I was walking towards you when you were talking, I see I, I can't reproduce it. Yeah. But, but oh, there we go. Briefly. It's just something is passing around through here because. Here we go. Yeah. I feel like it's too sporadic as far as levels to be a device because usually devices put off a consistent reading mm -hmm. depending on the signal that it's actually putting off. And this is like, I, I mean, I showed you guys in there. I don't get readings from here. I keep my arm extended out to about right here when I do these. Sure. Because you know, if I come up, oh, yeah. you know, but look at the difference by the time I get right here, it stops. Right, but now look what happened with this. And now totally dead. I know. I mean, that's like, and I've also got chills. So that's definitely somebody was passing through. And now they're over visiting you. Why don't you spike this up to four? We know you're here. This is Burke or Thomas. Just got more steady when I said that. Mark, if it's you, can you make it stop? It's not Burke. It's Thomas. Thomas, are you here? It's not Thomas either. It's somebody else. A new one. It's usually always the same too when I come here. <laughs> Thomas is uh, Thomas is friendly. And he's pretty social in the spirit box too. He'll give you some very intelligent responses, but sometimes he likes to play tricks and I'll kind of spook you with some of the responses that he has. But Burke, on the other hand, is not. Burke will try to follow you home. Burke will scare the scare you half to death honestly as far as attachment and and consistent nightly activity in your own home um i don't know where he's at now i want to say that he's still here i had to bring him back here to get him to stop and it's weird because just talking about him now is like i'm getting that feeling again and i, I don't know i feel like he's here i feel like he's listening bark if you are here you got to stay here, man. We're not going to do what we did three months ago. Okay? So. Yeah. You don't have permission to interact with us. Yeah, you, have, you, know, and you cannot follow any of us home. You cannot attach yourself to any of our equipment. And, you know, so, yeah. We conducted multiple spirit box sessions, reviewed audio and video recordings for disembodied voices or other EVP, took photographs, scanned for abnormal EMF, and used the FLIR camera to seek any objects abnormally different in temperature. mild temperature flux over there. So if there's anyone with us, there is a orange colored box that has orange numbers on it. If you're here with us, you can touch that. It's not going to hurt you. But if you touch it, we'll know that you're here.
What'd you do there? Turned on the vibration. Oh, gotcha. Colors and it lights up a bunch of cool different colors if you want to come try it out. It won't hurt you. Yeah. It's sort of like a toy. Mm -hmm. You can play with it if you want. Considering that there's a speaker here, this feels like this could be a schoolroom. But I guess technically there could be speakers all over. Hmm. I mean, this kind of has a teacher feel, a schoolroom feel, you know? Yeah, it does. So you got spear box going? Well, I didn't turn it on. Maybe somebody wants to talk to you. And I was like, I started hearing that noise. I was like, um, yeah, there's other people that there. Sounds like a hiss. That sounds like something coming from the ductwork. No, it's the spirit box. So since this device came on in my pocket, which could be coincidence, which could be coincidence, which could be coincidence, which could be coincidence. So this just happened to come on when I noticed this pumpkin on the floor and was thinking, how cool is that? 
Do you like Halloween? The most heartbreaking EVP we've ever captured. Did you hear that response? Listen again. A young black woman's voice appears to answer, I'm still here, to our question of, did they abuse you while you were here? Say that squeak was that? No, it was this thing that I brushed up against. I just wanted to note that. Hey, nice tinnies. integration of this particular building mm -hmm. what was on the walls how it's basically turned to dust I mean all the floors tile I mean frankly I mean this tile may be worthless but then again some of it's not broken it might be I don't know could be repurposed not my house <laughs> What? You don't want haunted tile in your in your house? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, this is flipping freezing. What is the temperature in here? Because oh my goodness! Holy oh cannoli! It like smacks you in the face when you. Come I mean, it's like a it's like a refrigerator freezer. It's just. Uh, granted, I know there's a window there, but it's just like. Somewhere though. Yeah, it's not really a convenient place to put it. I mean, I don't think it'd sit there very steady, but that's. 
You know the weird thing is? What's that? It's still at 50. Huh. <laughs> yeah. This ain't no 50 degrees in here, Bubba. That is weird. Yeah, yeah. Or at least at least my body's not saying it is. Uh -uh. I mean, that's just like I went around to that corner and somebody was like standing in here like, what's up? Yeah, it was cold. We know somebody's in here. Yeah. You bring out the spirit box? Yeah. See how I can fumble this while we're recording. So, turn this on. Turn this on. So is there anyone in here with us? Okay. Are you trying to say something to us? Have you been here with us the whole time? So my name's Rick. And I'm Mike. Who do we have the pleasure of speaking with? Who do we have the pleasure of speaking with? Did you hear the EVP? Listen closely. A voice seems to whisper, yeah, to our question of, is anyone in this room? That's what I meant there about the records, the patient records. Yeah, look, oh, it's wow. literally. Binders, folders. There's medical records, there's syringes, there's testing kits. Look, there's boxes of old masks. Yep. If you needed a mask, here's the place to come get them. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, some additional ones. All kinds of medical supplies back there. IVs, adapters, drug tests back here. This is all just wide open. Right. Pick up one of these documents and read about somebody's entire drug history use and any time they've had outbursts, any kind of medication they've been given. Right. Um, they, all that stuff is just like right here. I'm going to take you guys, show you some blast from the past type stuff. <laughs> You'll be like, whoa. This is where I'm going. What you smelling? I don't know. That was weird. There's like a 
hot smell that just kind of came in one. It wasn't really sulfuric, but it was just hot. Yeah, yeah. It was like with BO, like steak. Ghost smell? Like there is such a thing. I guess, um, I, I don't know. I don't even know what that would be as far as like. Well, it's like if you get a whiff of perfume and there's no reason, there's yeah, no like source. Yeah, like smells? Yeah, exactly. It smells like this, like, uh, like a steak, a BO, almost sweat. Okay. And then it just, that's why I pull, I look, yeah. is that me? No, it's not <laughs> me. Um, but it was just very sudden and it went away. Look at these books. Some of these books are still in them. These have been sitting here for decades. And you wouldn't know it. It looks like, you know, that they were just packed and just recently got opened. Yeah, I mean, Microsoft Windows 95. <laughs> the right? works companion. Right? Perfect condition. I mean, it looks like somebody just dropped this off here yesterday. Uh -huh. You would never know that this has been sitting here for decades. That's why this is considered the most preserved building on site because, I mean, look at the ceiling and stuff. Well, exactly. And the windows, all the cages are still up. I mean, granted, this room is trashed. Uh, yeah, well, but... obviously, I guess they must have... Uh... I'm sure they probably dumped all the computers in here and then people have had fun over the years with them. Oh, of course. Smashing up all the printers and PCs and, and whatnot. Yeah, you know, okay. People haven't come here and gutted out like CPUs and RAM and... Well, I'm just saying, I mean, like... Yeah, I mean, granted, some of it's old, but, I mean, some of it could even be recycled, but repurposed. It could be recycled. There's actually, I know a company that, I, if I came back here one day, they don't keep any of the parts. They, they literally recycle them right. and strip them and pull i could probably make about 500 bucks off of stripping everything out of all these pcs just for getting old boards sure cmos batteries old hard drives but people just try to smash them up instead oh yeah because that's just that's just uh that's much more fun yeah maybe i'll come back here one day and start pulling out motherboards and stuff let's say i remember you being in here from uh, your vid oh yeah because i remember this dude so yeah, this is the hangout. Yep. So this is where people come. This room right here, because there's like, you can see furniture. Yep. It's laying around. It's a good chance that I got it. Now I'm getting this wild chills here. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to turn this back on. Thomas, was that you that made that noise back there?
so you heard birth. I did. Can't make this stuff up. So why is this name shocking? Mike had an entity follow him home from Forest Haven and torment him for over a month. It wasn't until he returned to Forest Haven and demanded the entity named Burke depart from him that he finally experienced relief. Burke, what are you doing here? I can feel it. From 50.6 down to 49.6. I can feel it. And it's getting colder. So burnt. Were you upset with how the end of things was work? There's people that haven't been here in years and still remember the feeling that it's the place crazy. gets off. It's crazy. The vibe back there is just different, man. Mm -hmm. The energy is, it's weird, man. It was a morgue for me. Isn't that, that's here, isn't it? On, in this building? I think it might be. I'm, I thought it was. I did not turn that off. Um, I thought it was back there. I like think on it's that side. Yeah. Bro. You What's going on? This, yeah. Right? Okay. yeah. I'm, just, I'm just making sure I'm not touching anything. Are you turning that off? Can you move it again if that's you? These are brand new batteries. I just put these in. Can you keep turning my light off? Now it doesn't want to do it. I'm paying attention. This area, I've always gotten something in here every time I come here. I've been here a lot. I'm here with these gentlemen behind me, giving them sort of like a tour. And we have a bunch of equipment that we're using to try and gather evidence for what we do. Oh, that's awesome. And, uh, yeah, I figured there'd be a lot of people here for Halloween. Yeah. It's <laughs> scary, you know. Mm -hmm. But we're trying to see. Now it doesn't want to do it. I'm going to turn this back off. I did it twice just now. Whatever you guys do, don't play with the Ouija board here. Please don't. <laughs> Just for your own sake. I, um, the first time I ever came here and made contact with something here, uh, it followed me home. Mm -hmm. It like would scratch me and like mess with my animal. Or it would like, hear it whispering throughout my house and like banging on stuff. And it was like that for months. And I was a full-blown skeptic before any of this mm -hmm. stuff. I like didn't really believe in it, but I didn't, I guess, it, it was something that was in the back of my mind. We'll just put it that way. Like I, I thought about it, but it wasn't something that I did like I do now. And for all that stuff to happen, and it happened right after this place, it just didn't make sense. So just be careful here, guys. Oh, Even if you guys don't believe in this kind of stuff, I can tell you right now, okay, I can tell you right now that there is some serious negative energy running around here. 387 people are buried on the property. Yeah. You know that? The state had to come in and dump the site with gravel and asphalt because the bones were sticking up out of the ground from the erosion. People were reporting it. So be careful. Fine. Just that's all I'm going to say. Please be careful. On a property of nearly two dozen buildings, we barely scratched the proverbial surface of all Forest Haven has to offer. As an open case, we'll continue to document and collect evidence on this property. For Unexplained Cases, I'm Rick Garner.